Welcome to question of the week, second episode. Today I want to talk about reverse delay. Reverse delay is, in my um, opinion, um, rever just a reverse effect for real time. So it's a kind of delaying the uh, input. Uh, to explain this, there. Yeah. Simply like this, one, two, three, here, those knobs. So, uh, this is the later result. It's not so too difficult. And I want to uh, describe it using the cloud delay, because this has a window for the buffer. It's a uh, granular based effect, what doesn't enable really elegant the reverse de delay. Anyway, uh, I can show you the buffer flow, what is easy to understand this way. You see the buffer is running here, what is in fact the sample rate overwriting the buffer always. This are two seconds, I said two seconds, two, two seconds. And um, when I go back in the delay let's try it one, one two, three, three, four, five, 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 five. so you here um, used it uh, a split channel right is the effect left is almost the original input okay um, I made a uh, possibility to run it with a time what is in granular effect um, time freezing effect one two yeah, yeah. so uh, so it stands in, in the time this effect is done by adding sample rate so i run in 44000 hertz and this effect adds adds, um, adds one sample per sample rate. In order to get it faster than the sample rate, so it goes backwards, I have to double this sample rate addition. So let's try, I, I looked uh, for it and I just can add two instead of one and now I can try it one, two, three here, now one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Again, the, exp um, the 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 difference when I just add one instead of two. One, two, three. Yeah. It stands in the time. Um. I. Ex yeah. This should be clear now. The buffer is running always. Over. Uh, the buffer will always be overwritten. And. In order to go back, have a backward delay, you need um, ramp. What goes double time? Uh, yeah, from zero until its limits. What is here? Two seconds. Some delays uh, use milliseconds, like all the primary. Uh, modules, you see it's here, milliseconds. Now let's go to the real delays. Claudia. So, I show first a simple version of the delay with just a knob. Yeah, let's look into it. Have a knob, delay input, delay and so it's uh, again right side effect left is original one two three one two three one two three you hear it crackle because we have a stair because the knob is not uh, smoothed we hear stairs uh, let's try if I can show it here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. This is the um, 
one, two, three. Two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, you see the stairs. Another uh, a simple smooth possibility is the low pass. I have a simple low pass one pole filter with a very low low pass. In fact, it's minus 27 here just now. And when I turn up the delay time, it sounds different. Is it connected? It is all connected. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, two, three. The effect is not a linear full follow. Uh, let's uh, when when I just switch the delay from min to max. I set it. To 2000. Ah, uh, an important thing is the thing I use a single delay for this effect. What's uh, sufficient? We need linear interpolation. What is the default setting? But I increase the buffer to 2000. Default is 1000. So I have something more time for this reverse stuff. Like 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 this one two three this one two three so right. I have some more time to speak and the hearing the effect or showing the effect yeah you see uh, this effect is like a uh, like a strange records scratching one two three S scratching one two three okay I have to go far okay lower I have to go far lower so, okay now one, two, three. <sighs> Shit. Okay. Again. Again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. So yeah. this is, yeah. not, this linear is not linear. And, and this, this can be shown in this display. <laughs> this display. So we, we need, need a linear effect so that the pitch is keeping constant. We have several possibilities um, this beside core. Core can do everything. Now let's start with a slew limiter. Slew limiter is an... let me see... slew limiter, an audio modifier. It can limit the jump speed in a linear way. Yeah, I set it to 2000 for this delay because we need milliseconds. And when I switch it up to the to the f full buffer length, 2000 milliseconds, it uh, makes a line line out of this jump, of this button jump. So let's try one, two, three. Here is now one, two, three. Yeah, the, the, uh, that we hear it forward at the end is caused by the buffer end. The delay doesn't go further and stops here with um, with a ramp, and we hear it in a normal speed again. Okay, this is one possibility. Okay, the other is the integrator. I wouldn't had this idea. I got it from Lazyfish in an ensemble. He just adds a certain value. It's a real speed um, of when one it's running with a, a normal speed uh, ramp and two is the double speed and when then I can uh, press the button the integrator gets the one from zero and it runs in a ramp of um, increasing of two. Uh, one, two, three. Yes, yes. No. So. Okay. At the last but not least I had a core solution. Maybe I can explain it. Here I have the time buffer in seconds. I convert it into number of samples. My abbreviation is now ns. What is simply multiplying by sample rate. 
this will be the maximum of this ramp. Um, the ramp um, itself counts in two samples per clock, so it runs in double speed. And then I had an go and and reset what is caused by the same input. So when I press, it resets and runs. Then a ramp. Um, oh, yeah, we have the meter here. The ramp goes up. To show it in milliseconds, I multiply it by thousand. This delay needs seconds. So uh, I convert the number of samples running here up into seconds and the delay runs backward. So it now uh, accumulates all what I'm speaking like Claudia did before I, when I did uh, show this. This is always active here. The buffer is filling all the time. And only when I press go is it connected. Yeah. Then uh, the reader goes backward in the time. One, two, three, need of those. No, one. So that's all. I hope there was something new for you and you understood everything. Ask me if it's something uh, not clear and hopefully we see us next time. Thank you and bye bye.